Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we are continuing on with getting more shrines completed. I have a couple marked that I know I need to get to, starting, well actually we got this one, so we can delete that pin, and now we're moving on to this blue one over here. When it comes to getting over to it, it might actually be easiest to go to Divine Beast Vamado and then glide on over, but yeah, this is one of the many we still need to complete, but we're almost at 100 shrines? Or maybe we are at 100, we're at 96. Nope, not quite there. I'm trying really hard not to burp, I'm sorry. 96 in total so far. I think over, uh, like there's around 120-ish, so hopefully we get them all done, it'll be fantastic. But in the meantime, we just gotta keep going, we gotta keep trying. Last episode we ran into a bit of an issue with one of them, which was the one where we have to wait for a blood moon. So I don't really know what we're gonna be able to do with that. <laughs> we'll try our best, that's for sure. So yeah, we are going towards the blue one, way over this way. We'll go to the yellow and green one eventually, but I don't have to worry about that too much right now. We are a little cold because of the altitude, but that should change real quick. And this might actually still be a bit of a travel. It shouldn't be too bad, because once we reach this edge, we just gotta keep going. It is weird that there, is there really no shrine around this? Horse stable. That's weird, most shrines have, or most horse stables have a shrine. So I'm a little weirded out by that, why this one specifically doesn't have one. Maybe because it's so close to the uh, the forest, you know? Maybe that has something to do with it, or not the forest, but the, you know, the Rito village. And there are plenty of shrines there, and then there is like, a, I guess there is a shrine like right here. So maybe that's why? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna head this way and just do what we can. There is some kind of enemy outpost, and I think I actually will deal with that because I've been meaning to deal with more enemies. Oh, especially if we got like guys over here. What are they defending? They're doing something. Something fishy. What's going on with this whole, I mean, this is just like a different pathway, I suppose. But I guess in the meantime, I'll take care of this guy. One more. Not bad, that was pretty easy. Oh, hey, buddy, I need to talk to you real quick. I need that bow. Duplex bow, nice. Okay, so I need, need, need this because that is actually for the weapon connoisseur. So thank you so much for that, I owe you one. What about this stuff, do I need any photos of this? Uh, Not looking like it, so I'm out of here. I don't even need any of it, so I'm gone. And that might be the last thing for the weapon connoisseur, I'm not really sure. That is awesome, we got the we the duplex ball. I'll have to remember to do that at some point in today's episode. Last episode we cashed in another long time coming quest. Okay, it's just over here, maybe this is another one that I don't actually have any kind of thing for. I just have to go and activate it. I mean, I don't quite see it, but it's definitely gonna be down there. If I could then take care of some of these enemies first, but yeah, last episode we, we finished the Rush Room Rush quest, which was really nice to get done. And now we, we might be able to get done the weapon connoisseur, depending on what other things he may ask for. So I'm gonna head down this way, and if I could just simply hit him like that and Prevent him from dropping his arrows. Oh, oh, okay, good. He didn't drop his arrows. What about this? Got it. Nobody else is up here, so this is gonna be real sneaky. Hold on, you heard nothing? It's just me getting some stuff. Whoa, 54 damage is massive. What, what, what swords do I have right now that I can toss that are under 54? I got this 51. No, I gotta get rid of the 30. Can I? Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. I thought it would explode it. Oh wow, that's a silver guy too, I gotta be careful about that. 54 damage is insane. But if I could just real quick, real quick. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal with this guy a little bit. Got him. Somebody activated my thing there. I guess it was probably this silver one. Can I get like a double hit here? That'd be nice, got him. And then keep going for this guy. We ain't done, we ain't done. All right, we have a 54 damage here. Oh, what are you doing hit me with your tongue? I don't appreciate that. Get out of here. I don't need the rubber gear on right now, by the way. Let me go ahead and get this on. That'll be easier. Hello, sir. Ow, oh, you beat me up a little bit. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> okay, we're doing pretty good. Oh, there's two silver ones now. Oh, that's a mess. I see that guy up there, he's really trying to get me. Ain't doing a very good job, but he's trying. Let me go ahead and real quick, not that, this. Is that the order I want? No, this is the order I want. And then we're gonna electrocute some dudes here. Cause they are getting on my nerves. Got him. Oh, you got some good stuff too. All right, all right, well, we're just juggling. 
Hit them both. Oh, that was good, that was good, that was good. And then we're gonna switch over to, ooh, that would be nice, but I think we're just gonna keep with our normal swords here. But we have the Guardian Sword Plus. I mean, obviously, ow! It's not too much damage, but it's something. You got up from that real quick, by the way. Didn't the other guy, did he fall off? I guess he didn't. Slap this guy around a little bit, make him fall. We have a Steel Lizel Bow right there. Can we get rid of these dudes? Hold on, hold on one sec. Do I really gotta do this right now? I think I do. Ooh, that should help, big time. Did it get rid of, the, okay, I did get rid of the guy who was shooting the fire arrows, which is nice. I need to switch weapons to something a little bit more damaging. 50 damage is really nice, so that'll help. And then buddy, where did you go? You're down here. Oh, boom! Did I get him? That did get him. And then we got you over here. Don't you dare grab that weapon! You are so fast! Those offos are scary. They're just so quick. We get a topaz out of that one. Over here we have an enhanced Lysel spear. Is it better than 31 damage? No. Grab some of this, we got a ruby. Very nice. What did you guys drop? Got some fire arrows. I got a keys following me. Not really too concerned about that part. We'll make it, we'll figure it out. And what about this guy? He dropped something, right? He dropped the bow, but he didn't drop any arrows. Lame. Okay, so where where is this? Got it, slice and dice. <laughs> all of them in one swing. Okay, all of them, but except for this guy. So hopefully destroying a couple more enemies will help us uh, get our way to a blood moon. Royal broadsword. Higher than 30 damage. It's in the tree. Now it ain't. 36 is okay. I mean, it's nothing crazy. One of them had a shield. Don't know where that shield went. Or maybe it just disappeared altogether. Royal Claymore, higher than 36, but is it higher than 60? It's not, so I don't need it. Okay, got some more arrows. I don't know, I don't know if that guy actually dropped the shield, because I don't see it nowhere. So there we go, there is that done. We're gonna head back this way and try to get this shrine going on. Really shouldn't be that bad. It's definitely in this direction. It's down below. Just have to figure it out. Might be a little bit of a tough thing to find, but I don't know, I think, I think we'll make it work. I'm pretty confident. So just gonna go down here. Is it on this platform? Ooh, that could have turned out real bad. That would have been me getting a game over. Oh yeah, it's just right down here. Cool. So here we go. We got another shrine, the first shrine of today's episode, the Dumbatog Shrine. And that should be pretty good. I like it. So let's head on in. This is probably gonna be some kind of, I really doubt this will be a puzzle. Like maybe it'll be like a test of strength, but I even doubt that. I think there's gonna be like a normal puzzle, not like a blessing or anything. Guardians are ancient, highly advanced weapons, so blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. Well, we're about to find out together. It is build and release. Oh, I don't trust these ones. These ones are always tricky. Oh, hey, that's cool though. I'm gonna guess that we want to time this just right, uh, that's not really just right, gotta be honest, ooh, maybe. Ah, uh, momentum was not on my side there. Oh, oh, almost, almost, oh, that was cool. Okay, maybe I will like this one. So we gotta wait for just the right time, which I think is sort of like that. Hey, hey, not bad, but it wasn't enough. It was almost enough. It didn't press the button in all the way. Oh, that's such a shame. Let's try to do a little bit more of a tilted angle. Wouldn't you think in theory I'd be able to wait here long enough? Like, unless it's at an evenly distributed time. And eventually just be able to get it that way? There it goes! That's what I was looking for. Very nice, and is there anything else around here? I haven't really looked. Doesn't look like it, so we're gonna move to the next area. Where, ooh, we have what? There's the end right there. But I don't think it's gonna be that simple. Uh. Where is movement happening? Are these stone barrels? Well, there's a first for everything now, isn't there? Okay, well this is a bit odd. Like maybe I could bust these? Is that the idea? I can knock them over, that's for sure. Whoop. At least a little bit. Oh, over enough. But what is it, where is that coming from? What is that doing? I mean, there's more of these barrels. There is a, a rock over this way, another one. All right, maybe this is more simple than I'm thinking? I don't know, it's a little weird. Yeah, let's push this this way. Come on, keep going. It's, it's sort of tough to get it going where you want. 
It's not made out of metal, so I can't just, you know, do the magnetization thing. There we go. Is Link strong enough to get it over this? I don't think he is, but he'll try. He looks so strapping with this, you know, armor. You would think that maybe. Okay, hold on. Ooh. And then we're just gonna go ahead and explode that one and explode this one too. Ready, drop it, explode it. And then I exploded both of them, but it's sort of kind of the wrong way. So I need it to go that way. Mm. And one more. Okay, that will hopefully be enough. It is. So here is a chest. This might just have a key in it. Got to find out. Great Thunderblade, not bad. Okay, so I don't quite have enough room for it right now, but I can just drop this for right now. I don't plan on using it because I already have the electric thing, electric spear, which is almost as much damage as this is anyways. It's not really that great of a uh, thing. Yeah, this actually is more damage. This is way better. Um, but I can at least take a quick photo of it. Oh, I already have a photo. No, well, never mind. Should have never even bothered opening the chest then, should I have? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do the sort of the same deal. Actually, I need to get that edge into, I, I do have it. It's just right over here. It's just sort of my weakest two-handed. And it's about to break, so about to not be my weakest two-handed. Whoa, what a launch! Actually, wasn't expecting that, but I guess that's how you get it out of there. Makes sense. What's happening now? What is that noise? I guess that's just it rolling around. So what is down this way? Endless abyss. I was just really lucky that it didn't land over there. So I guess if I hit it hard enough, maybe it would have launched over that way? Was that the idea? What if I lose this? Will it give me a new one? There's another button over this way. And I do not understand what am I doing with it. I mean, there's this. This is weird. This is definitely a bizarre one. Like, what more can I do? I can hit this, and then maybe I could like hit it with arrows? Let me try doing that with the duplex bow. I mean, obviously, it's not too much momentum. Yeah, that didn't even nudge it. I mean, I'm hitting it the wrong way. So, of course, that's not gonna help. I need it to go this way. I mean, I guess it could fall. If it fell on the button, that'd be great. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, well, I don't know if this is actually what I'm expected to do here or not, but it might be, so I'm gonna try it. And that is setting this up like this, dropping it, stasising, and then of course, uh, drop this, launch it. I mean, that doesn't add too much, but it's something. Okay, oh, I need a weapon. Master sword. A little bit more to the side, maybe? No, come on, come on, dang it. That didn't even nudge it. Oh, oh, no, it did, it did. Boom, look at that. Okay, that worked. Cool. So I should try that again with the other barrel on the other side. But that one's gonna be a lot more difficult, a whole lot more precise. So I think I'm supposed to launch this ball to the other side. But this might work as well. We'll have to see. Okay, yeah, plop it down like this. We're gonna put it in stasis, just like that, and see if we can't get it launched. It's so tough to line up. I really don't like these kind, I have to line it up. And then one more, that way. Ooh. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for. It sort of bounced off. The problem is it looks like there's an endless abyss on the other side. I will try it one more time, but I don't have the Master Sword now, so I do have to be a bit more careful in what I'm actually using. I mean, I guess I'll use this 36 damage sword. But if it doesn't work this time, I'm probably gonna call it quits. I mean, if you guys know if there's like a must have item in there, I'm sure you'll let me know. No, 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 no! It's so difficult, that, that's sort of baloney, because it's like, it's not really made to aim up precisely, it's clearly not sort of made with that in mind, so I don't know why they expect you to do that. Anyways, let's not waste too much time. We got this one done, it's our first round of the day. Finally getting it out of the way. <laughs> That took a good chunk of time, but we got two more around the Rito region that we have to do. So we're gonna be teleporting back up to the Va, whatever it is. Varuto, no, no, that was the one for the Zora. I don't know. We'll get there, we'll figure it out. So for this one, I'm actually trying to figure out this green one right here. And I think we have the quest for this, if we take a look. Um, going through all the ones we do have available at the moment. 
Recital at Warbor's Nest. Kiel, youngest of five sisters inhabiting Rito Village, is furious that her sisters haven't shown up for singing practice. Go out and find her eldest, eldest sister, Knotts, second eldest sister, Kotz, third eldest sister, Je Genli, and fourth oldest eldest sister, Cree, somewhere in Rito Village, and tell them to be Kiel. So apparently we really haven't properly done this one. So I don't know exactly what we have to do, but we have to find Genli, Knotts, Kotz, and Cree? Was it? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Kiel was the one we were talking to. So we'll just sort of see where the marker leads first um, and move from there. I mean, I don't know how much of this I've already done. If I've done any of it, probably saved it for later because that's usually what I do. But now later is now. I figured out, oh, it's nighttime too, so we'll probably have to wait until morning. That's a mess. That's okay, we'll make it work. Maybe I'll have to sleep in a bed or something, but that's fine. Oh, we're way above the town. Oh, oh boy. So I'm probably just gonna find the inn and sleep until morning if I can. Well, oh, this is above the inn. I think that should be this one down here. Gotcha, so we'll sleep for a night. Yup, yup, yup. Swallows Roost through this village premiere and only inn. Standard runner 20 rupees. I don't know if we've ever slept here. Standard bed. That's all I need, until morning. I mean, I actually probably should have done noon. But morning should be good. I mean, I, I think some of these characters are children and they're usually not up until later, but maybe some of them are older. I don't know. Okay, so with that, good morning, hope you slept well. All right, take care. Let's try to find this person. They are at least in this corner some way, somehow. If up there, maybe, hard to say. Yeah, I think they're up there. We'll, we'll wrap around real quick. I don't even know who we're trying to find, but maybe they can at least give me a hint. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I should be trying to talk to each of these people. Probably, but we'll start here. So this is Genli. Hurry, hurry, I need someone to wear in my belly. I know Kiel wants me to practice singing with her, but I just can't. Oh yeah, I do remember this. Not until I get my salmon moon year. Uh, my sister's already left to get salmon moon air ingredients. I told them I wouldn't sing until I get it. I didn't expect them to actually make it for me though. I don't want to practice singing, but I really don't, do want some yummy salmon moon air. How do you make it? The Slippery Falcon. Okay. Uh, slippery Falcon, isn't that the, the, just a general store? Let's see. Uh, can I read this? Examine. The Slippery Falcon, cool. So this is Cree. Yeah, yeah, I bought some goat butter. Huh, rehearsal? Oh yeah, I forgot. If I give you this goat butter, will you make some salmon luminary for Genli? She should be in the kitchen. She said she won't sing until she's eaten. Our older sister Knotts is probably practicing her song somewhere up high. Cod's left to catch some hearty salmon. She's probably fishing at the pond near the entrance to the village. Okay. And your Misa, hi. I'm in the Slippery Falcon, legendary Rito General Store. It'll be working hard, huh? Uh, was there something you needed? Nope, I think I'm good. Okay, is there anything I could take a photo of here that I haven't already? I don't think so, but it's always good to check. Nope, okay, good. So we gotta go back to the entrance of Rito Village, apparently. She gave us goat butter, which is nice, but it's only, I guess, applicable. This is not the right way. This is like a little side bridge, how nice. But there should be a pond near the entrance, which is this way. I think we actually saw this kid. The last time we were here, we did. I mean, I don't know if this is something we've already done. But yeah, let's talk to you. You're trying to catch salmon. Cox, I'm, I'm going to try to catch some more fish before I head out. Why don't you go and find my other siblings in the meantime? My older sister is loves the high places, and Cree is probably at the Slippery Falcon. Once you get all the ingredients, you can cook the meal in the pot in the cookie. Yeah, but what is the ingredient? Like, how do you make it? I'll, I'll steal this hearty salmon. There's another one in here, right, I think. Maybe not. Anyways, it's all I need is one. Does it tell me in the quest? In the fourth eldest sister Cree, somewhere in Reno Village. All right, so somewhere up high. I mean, it might be easiest then to, no, not what I wanted. Uh, Just teleport up to here and then make our way back down again. Like maybe that's my best bet, it's really weird. Okay, so I don't see her up here. But I should just try to slowly lower myself. I mean, we are really high up. But she might be somewhere on like one of these. We just have to pay attention. And hope that we spot her. Oh, oh, here we go. And she's already practicing singing. 
So I guess it's salmon, it's butter, what else is it? Lula la 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 la. I call that song The Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero, First Movement. Thank you for listening. What? Singing rehearsal at Warbler's Nest? I didn't forget. It's just a generally really wanted some salmon when rare. Moon way, I, okay, whatever. So my sister and I have been looking for ingredients. I finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. I feel bad if we left Kiel waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. Well then, I guess I'll give the Tabantha weight weed to you. Please make the best salmon moon way for generally. She says she can't sing on an empty stomach, but I'm pretty sure that's just an excuse. Well, good luck. So let's go ahead and, I, I, we have Tabantha wheat, goat butter, and hearty salmon. That might be enough to make it. We're about to find out. Cause she's next to a cooking pot. So if that does make it, great. And if not, I should have each of, more of each of those, so hold one. Hold one, and then hearty salmon, got it. And cook it. Will that make it? I sure hope so. Hardy Salmon Unwear restores your health and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. The crispy skin of this fried hardy salmon puts its texture in a class all its own. Hey oh! Hurry, hurry! I need salmon blah 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 in my belly! That amazing smell, could it be? So, so salmon unwear! They're going to let let me have some, right? Right? No, doll mine. Of course you can. Here you go. Yay! Time to dig in! Yum 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 yum. Mm, oh, mmm, stuffed. I thought she was gonna get sick. Huh? My promise to my sisters, I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like si si singing, but I'm too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for the amazing salmon and wear. <laughs> I pronounce it differently and more ridiculously every time. Uh, it was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give, I'll give this rehearsal my all. Come listen later. Okay, so what I think we gotta do now, uh, recite, recital at Warbler's Nest, is we have to go to Warbler's Nest. So that is over that way. Or, which one is it? The green one. So it, yeah, it's over on the other side of the uh, Rito Village. Shouldn't be too bad to go to. I mean, I might wanna climb up a bit more. I'll just actually climb up and then glide off the highest point I can from Rito Village without having to teleport again, because I'm tired of looking at loading screens. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> We've been doing that a lot recently. I'm just getting a little, little tired of it. Okay, so yeah, over here is probably gonna be the, the gliding spot where I should be able to get to at least the base of that area and then get over. All right, the Ach Okot Shrine is that one right there. We've already done that, of course, that one long history. But I should be able to get over there. Ooh, but there is this. Maybe I should do this real quick. We have not done this one. Yep, I have not. Okay, what is, where is this gonna bring me? I don't know. I wish it would give me a moment to figure that out. Oh, right down there? Oh boy, I'm gonna run out of time, actually. Turn around, turn it, turn this around. Are you kidding me, Link? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what was that, dude? Okay, go up. Yeah, I'm just gonna want it time out and then try again. So I know it's right down this way. Whoop, we should be able to get that, no problem. But now I'm really gonna need Rivali's Gale. I guess, sort of. There's another shrine somewhere around here. I'm not really going the correct direction right now at the moment. Okay, come on, a couple more seconds. Couple more seconds, oh, boom, easy. Totally easy. All right, we got it, yaha, you found me. Korok seed, awesome. So if we do that, like like I said, there's a shrine right here, I don't know. I think that one's hidden somehow. I don't know how that one is hidden though. Might have to figure that out. In the meantime though, we can at least get to the singing rehearsal this way. I don't wanna miss it, I wanna sing too. I wanna hear Link's singing voice. I mean, he screams a lot, he doesn't sing very much. Maybe that's him singing. Maybe he sings when he's scared. And he's just a really bad singer. <laughs> All right, the wolves are gonna run away. Can I get one of them? I can. No no, no gourmet meat, though, unfortunately. I feel so bad, but he ran into me. Oh, there's some gourmet meat, thank you. Got a hearty truffle out of that, too, nice. So we're getting there, it's right over the side. I don't feel like I need to use Rivali's Gale for such an easy little trip. Just gonna walk over. There's some more wolves, though. Hmm, I don't know if I've ever really been down this path too much. There's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna try it if it works, awesome. Oh, that got three of them. Oh my gosh, I feel awful. Whenever I do that, I feel so bad. But I need to because I really need the rupees. Okay, see, so yeah, we're just gonna climb up this way real quick. Okay, got it. It's actually, this 
This trip's gonna make me a little nervous. I know, we, we got it. Thought it was a little bit higher. All right, hello. Am I missing recital? Oh, and there's also another Korok seed over here. I'll have to remember that for afterwards. Are they over here now? Oh yeah, I see one of them. Hey, what's up? Warbor's Nest. This is pretty cool. Aw, they're singing. Can I actually? La la lu, phew. All the singing is making me hungry. Oh. It's some kind of pattern. So it was four, five, three, one, two. Four, five, three, one, two. Four, five, three, one, two. Where is it? It's. Four? Uh, where's five? Right here. Five. Three. I hope I'm doing this correctly. One. Two. That didn't work. Uh, what was that? What? Did I do it wrong? Let's try that again. Few singing, all the singing makes me hungry. Would you rather hear my tummy song or something about War Warbro's Nest? <laughs> Sorry. Four, five, three, one, two. So I don't know if I, I, did, I did that wrong. Did I not shoot through them correctly? I wasted a couple arrows for that. Maybe I should hear a song about the, her tummy. Four, five, three, one, two. I'll remember that. Let's hear your song about your tummy. Rumble, 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 grrr, that was it, okay. What about the rest of you then? It's fun singing together, even if I don't know the lyrics. Hey, want me to sing you a song again? Why not? Uh, yeah, they're just gonna sing the song. Four, five, three, one, two. So what did I do wrong? Maybe I'm not supposed to hit arrows through it? That seems like the most reasonable thing. Hmm. Okay, so I did look it up, because this is a little silly. Apparently I need a Korok leaf. Hey, hey, hey here we go. <laughs> Got it, that was actually really easy. I'll take it, so with my Korok leaf ready and waiting, I can try this again. I guess the wind will go through it, it'll make a bit of a sound, so where's number four? Should be this one, so ready. Okay, that worked, that worked, that worked. Five. Three. One. And two. And there we have it! We solved it, nice! Okay, this, these shrines have been a lot of work in today's episode. Not as much as like last episode, we got to them pretty quickly. This time, it's a bit of a struggle. But we'll keep going, we'll keep fighting until we get to what we need to be. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it seems to be turning out pretty well so far. But as you can see, that is another shrine unlocked. We're just gonna hop right into that one. Oh, will they react? They're like, oh, what is that? <laughs> wow, hey, look, guys. <laughs> We're so proud of ourselves. Huh? Was that weird looking house always there? No, that's the shrine thing that the Elder was talking about. So cool. Who knew Warbor's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Let's tell mom. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, let's. All right, well, have fun there, little Rito sisters. See you later. Are they all gonna fly off? This is just a sentimental moment. Last one to mom is an un unhatched egg. Ready, set, let it go. <laughs> this is a weirdly long segment. Aw, you okay? I guess she may be an unhatched egg. All right, well, goodbye. I wanna go into this shrine. But that is another shrine quest completed. Re recital at Warbor's Nest completed, very nice. So, Vuluta Shrine. Is this one gonna be any challenging? Is it gonna be a blessing? I guess we'll find out. It feels like the blessing ones are becoming less and less, so I feel like the more time goes on, the chances are this is not gonna be a blessing one. The choice of rain, some animals love playing in the rain, and there are certain plants that only bloom during rainstorms. Keep an eye out for them. Is that really the case? All I see is this Link slipping on a cliff whenever rain happens. I don't see any animals playing. I don't see any new plants. But hey, 
What do we got going on with this? Oh, it's just a ladder. To who's to you who's that's from the shrine of Voluta? We we really skip this most of the time. The winding route, Voluta Shrine, Rulata, Rulata. I guess. Oh, this is a really tall ladder. Okay, keep going, Link. You got it. With the stamina restore. Whoop. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. And got it. What is this about? Is this a dead end? Whoa. Whoa, I'm locked in. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Do I not have the Master Sword right now? Is it still restoring? I think it's still restoring. Yeah. All right, well, I'll just hit it with this. Whoa, 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 whoa! How was I supposed to know? That was a trap! What? How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> okay, well now I do. Um, I might as well try this again. So what is going on with all this? There is the exit and it has a key. What in the world? That was weird. Okay, don't blow me this way, I need to go this way. No, 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 come on. That is bizarre. I don't, like, that's just so weird because I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where to start. I could start this way. That seems like it could, could work. Just get a free chest. Ready, got it. <laughs> is that what I was supposed to do? I don't know, that's what I did. We got a flame blade. I mean, what can I drop? I should already have a cork leaf pictured in my inventory or in my compendium. Let's do this and make sure I have a picture of it. Best way to do that would probably, at this rate, take a selfie. So if I have it, uh, oh gosh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on, I'm holding it off. Take a selfie, Link. Hold on, no, why, why? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it's not working for some reason. I'm gonna get over here. I'm a little worried that if I put it down, it's gonna blow away the weapon. But hey, we'll find out. No, no, it's good. And we already have a photo of a flame blade, so it doesn't really even matter. The concern about this is, would this even, no, 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 it keeps me up. Okay, I was worried that it, it would still descend a little bit. Oh, there goes the Master Sword. So there's another chest over there. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. Oh, see, this is what I was worried about. Seems like I was right to worry about it. I've gotten one of the chests. It looks like there's at least one more. Probably one of them's gonna have a key. Oh, it sent me here now. That's actually a little concerning. Is this, is this where I wanted to be? What is this up here? No, okay, yeah, I'm back this way out. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm gonna jump and glide and hope that the wind brings me where I need to be. Let my stamina refill. That's good. So we get back up this way. That, I see why it's winding. Because you need to sort of loop around a lot. Is there any way up there? No, okay. Oh, this one's tricky. But we got it, no problem. So this is definitely gonna give us a key. For sure. And then that's probably it. Yep, small key. I didn't see any other chest around, so I think that's really it solved. Okay, gotta be careful. Then jump this way. Got it. Yeah, okay, so let's open this up and see what's inside. Of course, it's the end of the shrine. That one, once again, it was a bit of a challenge. We've only gotten two shrines done in today's episode. We're almost like 40 minutes in. Isn't that crazy? So. A little bit of work hopefully goes a long way. I mean, I guess there's a lot of work. Goes a little way, but it, you know, I'm working, okay? Let's try to get two more shrines done at the least so we can have 16 orbs that we can cash in for four things, whatever that might be. All right, on to the next one. So the next shrine is actually right across the way. I don't know what to do with it, though. It might just be there, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But I swear I've been in this area before and I didn't find it. So I'm gonna look along the way and Hopefully we'll be able to piece something together. Maybe we'll run into a character or something that'll activate the shrine. I'm just not really sure. So we'll have to try together. But yeah, after that we'll try to do another shrine somewhere. Oh, hey, a Hinox! It's also one we haven't seen before, a black Hinox. Or at least we haven't photographed before. How cool, so let's take down this guy. Oh, is he woken up? He's like, I hate photography. No way did he see me. No way did he see me. 
How in the world? He really does not like being photographed. Well, too bad. Oh, don't use his bow. Do not use his bow. Uh, use this. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I could use one of these real quick. Get some damage out on you that way. Also, pretty easy to hit your eye. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I can't use it too much, though. No, ma no matter how amazing it is, I need to go down like this. I need to freeze you. And I can hit you with the flame blade a little bit. Your, your oh, leg's yeah. actually well protected here. Um, That was bad. Why did I hit him in the, the, the knee guard? Really didn't help me too much. Can I electrocute you, actually? No, what are you doing facing that way? I can. Very good, very good, very good. Back it up a little bit. Jab him with this one a couple times. Yeah, that'll get him. I love this thing. Move it, move it, move it. Yeah, we're fine. All right, awesome. I like it. And any of these, did these need to be photographed at all? I mean, we got some good weapons waiting around here, it looks like. We'll have to wait and see. So I got some Hinox guts, very nice. I got some roasted drumsticks. So is this one better than at least 26 damage? It's the same damage as this. Hmm, okay, well then I'll leave it. Royal Broadsword needs to be at least, what? What's my weakest one, 36? It's the same as 36. And then the bow, I can always have more royal bows. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a Strength and Lysel bow, grab it. Can't believe I'm leaving this stuff, but this is what I gotta do. I mean, I actually might wanna check that out. Cause that, that, that halberd should have a bonus stat. This one's bonus stat is more damage, which makes it equal to this halberd. This one has extra throwing, which might end up being helpful. Okay, what about the broadsword then? This, it should be equal to this. This one just has better throwing as well. What about this one? It has better throwing. <laughs> well, I see some kind of theme going on. I'm glad I was able to picture another Hinox though. What is that noise? Oh, it's a bear. Of course it's a bear. I've never pictured a squirrel before. I know that for a fact. Did that count? That did not count. Where'd he go? Is the bear chasing me around right now? Leave me alone, dude. What did I do to you? I want to take a picture of a squirrel now, really badly. I don't know where the squirrels ran off though. I have to save it for another time. Leave me alone, I'm just uh, just a photographer. Just trying to get by with my day. Oh my. Yeah, it's weird that I've uh, never photographed a squirrel. See, it's just saying there's a shrine right here. Clearly that's not the case. Wonder what I have to do for this one. I might have to look that up. I mean, there isn't anything particularly of no going on around here. Like maybe if I could take care of these guys first. They don't see me from way above. Get rid of him real quick. And then start working on his friends. Oh, there's a lot over here. Why did I make this mistake? You know what? This is a mistake as well. Oh my gosh. That was silly. <laughs> um, Let me get some food in me. I get a lot of hearts. This is awesome. What can I give you? I can give you something. I'm gonna give you a hard time, that's for sure. Ow, ooh, dude, really? Was that necessary? Absolutely not. Get rid of you. Oh, you have a lot of health though. Oh, dude, I am not appreciating this. Not one bit, got it. And you're shooting arrows at me. That ain't no good. Oh, <laughs> that was weird timing. You know what then? I'm gonna deal with you with this new weapon we got. Actually, probably this. Okay, got him. Keep going, doing well. And this is just gonna, you know, tap him quite a lot. And before he can really even get up, because of our long reach, we can get back at him. You know, to start flying again. Look at how easy that was. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there are some bulk of one stuff, a sapphire as well. Got some more. Oh, there, yeah, there, uh, yeah, all the explosions made him drop some stuff. So I got rid of these enemies, but I still have no clue what the dealio is with breaking or entering this thing. Did you just forget? You stole my flame sword. I threw that at the thing. <laughs> Ain't that interesting. Do I still have the room to pick this up? I do. Cool. Weird. So I'm gonna double check what, what this one is. I should be able to see. It is the Ancient Rito Song. So is that a quest we already have started? Because if it is, awesome. I just have to check all the ones. Um, The Ancient Rito Song. You have heard the rest of the Ancient Rito Song from Badoli's sister, Lysa. The pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. The heart shines upon the path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. What is the meaning hidden behind these lyrics? Hmm. I don't know. Like obviously something with the pillar, and it being the middle of the day. 
This one's tricky. Let me go over it again. Cause like, that's just peculiar. The pride of the Rito pillar in the sky, obviously the Rito pillar, the giant thing. Its heart lights up when the sun is high. So when the sun is high, it's gonna light up. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but warming flame can stir its soul. So we gotta wait for a certain time in the day and put the fire there. Okay, we should be able to do that. What I might do then is get a piece of wood and we have the, the flaming sword, so we should be good with this. That makes this really convenient. Just slicing it like that and sit by the fire until noon. The sun is high, noon is a good time for that. And that should illuminate a path, as far as I can tell. That's the idea. Oh! Right there, gotcha. So I need to light this up again, wait till morning. Just like that, oh, more waiting. I don't like this part. Like when we're waiting around for shrines, that's sort of a pain. Don't like that so much. That's what we gotta do. So I have to wait for the sun to show up. I don't think it was going to. I mean, it does raise from over here, so maybe it would have actually. Hmm. It clearly has to shine through that though. So maybe waiting till noon wouldn't be so bad. I'll get some Tabantha wheat. Wait till noon and Maybe it'll work. If not, I'll just have to sleep another night. It's not a big deal. The fire ain't going anywhere as long as I have the fire sword. So, yeah, where exactly is it? It's hard to tell. I don't know if it's quite gotten through yet, but maybe I should just double check this quest online so I know if I'm wasting my time or not. Uh, Let's see, 12.35 p.m. So it's about to happen, apparently. Somewhere back this way. I don't know yet, it's 12.25. I don't know if this is a lie or not, or just a guesstimation. But clearly the clouds are there for now. So I just have to wait here until it's no longer clouds and instead, a fancy light. I mean, it's a interesting shape. I mean, it's just like perfectly a heart. Weird to see that happen naturally. Yeah, yeah, now it's 12.45, so I don't know if I missed my chance if that was total baloney or not. I mean, I guess my best bet is to wait around and find out. I mean, it is. it would be weird if the sun is at its highest at noon. I guess it depends on the daylight time, right? I don't know, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Oh, I am such a dingus. I started piecing this together that I'm not waiting for the sun to shine through like that. Yeah, there it is. This is the heart shape right here. That's what I had to do. I was just getting it confused. <laughs> That was my bad, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and hold this and drop it and just slice again and I'll have to wait until noon one more time. Really dude, I already got one of your duplex bows. I don't need you. Where are you going? Right there? Not anymore. What, how did I miss that? That's what I call baloney. Wait, have I, wait, wait. Have I photographed you? Yes I have, okay, Never mind. There we go. What, how is that not enough? It didn't seemingly do any damage. Why do I keep missing you? You're such a pain right now. Got him. Oh, hold on. One more. There it is. <laughs> Get out of here, jerk. What did I even do to you? Destroy your clan? <laughs> I don't care. It's probably why you want to destroy me. Anyways, one more time. Sit here, wait until noon, and we will do it properly. Hopefully. I'm really hungry. I want a snack after this. It's going to be so good. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, it's 12 p.m. You can already see it's making its way over. Well, why is there so many enemies around here? Leave me alone. Here, slice you. You're gonna pop into multiples now? Good. And you can tell the heart is right there, so I gotta set a fire at that point? All right, well, let's just keep the flame blade up. Well, is this the heart? I don't know. It is weird, because it doesn't look like there's any sun shining through at all. So that's what I was confused about. But this is obviously the pedestal. And this, yeah, this is the heart, so. I don't think I want to light the flame until right at the right moment. Okay, it's starting to glow. Will that work? Hey, all right. <laughs> Jump the gun a little bit, but that's fine. And there we have it. Awesome stuff, so we got the, the thing done. I didn't even see that pedestal down there until I realized a moment later, because I was a dingus, but. Hey, well, there it is. So I gotta get this one done, and then at least one more. I just like much lower paced this episode than last one, but I still need to do it, nonetheless. So the Ancient Rito song complete, very nice. 
Let's go inside and find out what this one is. The Barita Nag Shrine. Now for this, I actually wouldn't mind if it was a blessing one because, or like a test of strength or something, because that one was a little bit more difficult to piece together. But I guess we'll find out together what it might be. Huh. Battle tip, monsters near, need their booty rest too. If you see a group of monsters sleeping, use that as an opportunity to sneak attack them. Not really good at sneak attacks, gotta be honest. But uh, whoa, what in the world is this thing? I don't really know. Oh, well, it's a cannon. That makes sense. Well, what do we do with this cannon? Put one of these out. Whoops, <laughs> not what I wanted. Try that again. Whoop, bloop. Rolls on down. Seems to be nice and ready. Launch it. Whoa. So now it's like a timing game. Oh, I see. All right, well that might not be so easy, but we'll try it. Ready, boom. Oh, that is not easy to time. Wait, what? Oh, is that it? I thought I was supposed to hit all the moving panels. Oh, that was that was much easier than I anticipated. Okay, cool. That's it? Sweet, but what is this about? I'm a little curious now. Is this one just gonna get me a reward? Oh, this one is much more tricky. I definitely gotta try it. I mean, I got really lucky I did on the first try, really. Now? Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, I'm the master. I mean, not really, but <laughs> but that was still pretty cool, right? I liked it. All right, so what does this have? Maybe something interesting, a diamond? Yeah, a diamond. All right, things are going my way now. That was a very fun shrine. I sort of wish there was more to it. Why is it the ones I really enjoy are really short and sweet, but the ones I despise are like an hour long? They're never an hour long, but they feel like it. So there is another shrine completed, and that really clears out the Rito area from what I see from my list of things. There was one more in the Heber Mountains I do need to find and get that one done. So that'll be my next goal, is the Hebra. And then there's like some in the Tabantha region, only two really, but uh, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. That is our 15th orb, so if we can just get one more done, that'd be fantastic. And then we gotta get the duplex bow to the little boy in Hatino Village. That's another thing. So, a couple more things left to do on the to-do list for today's episode. Don't you think I'm gonna miss any of it? I might, I forget things pretty easily. Okay, so we're at Tabantha now. I'll show where we are in just a moment. I just wanted to get this gear on real quick. But if we take a look, we're right here, and it's going to be just around this way. Uh, I'll look for where specifically I think around here. Now I don't know, oh, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. I wanted to delete stamp and make it a, a pin, more specifically. That seems about right. It might be a little bit up here. Uh, we'll find out together. The best thing I can do for this one, it's a little bit tricky, but I guess just glide on over. I do have Rabali's Gale nice and ready to go, so we'll probably just use it a bunch because traversing this area can be a bit of a difficult thing. For right now, we can do this. That'd be awesome. I think some stuff just popped out of the snow to attack me. Too slow, buddy, too slow. And yeah, we'll just glide on over and see what ends up happening. Distance-wise, it's not too bad to get to. So hopefully we'll be able to make it. But once we do that, we'll get that one done. And then that'll be all the shrines I really need to tackle in today's episode. Because then we can just cash in some orbs. We can cash in another step to that quest, if not the end of it. I really would hope that a duplex spot would be the rest of it, but you never know. Or at least something else that we already have. Ooh, there is some kind of Korok seed up here I might want to figure out. Let me go ahead and get the snow boots on. Got it, okay. So let's run up here real quick and give this something. Oh, hello. Okay, it's one of these. No, can't believe you did that to me. My precious arrows. Oh, why'd I do that? I'd wait for the moment it pops up and then go for it. Yeah, there we go. Where's the other one at? because I think there's only two of them. No, I didn't mean to let go there. Oh, I'm a mess. There I go. Is there one more? There is. It's gonna disappear and reappear. There, no. no I'm not gonna shoot that one. I, I've ruined my lesson. Where? Here. Yeah, <laughs> that took way too many arrows. Jeez. Okay, I found you, I found you. 26, less than 10 to go for that uh, next weapon slot upgrade, which I really want. Oh, it's going off about a shrine nearby, so it really might just be. Oh, it's just nearby. That would be nice, I'd appreciate it. I don't know if it's up top or not, though. It might be down below, which actually would be a little bit more difficult. 
Whoa, there's, is it? Is that just a for real guardian right now? I think it's more like here. So I'm gonna put another pin like that. I mean, is this a guardian right below me? Not a guardian, but you know what I mean. Is this guy operative right now? I guess not. Hmm. So where exactly is the shrine? It must be down below. Oh, oh yeah, right there, right there. How easy was that? How easy was that? Turn it around, turn it around, Link. You got it, yeah, good job. Oh no. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. Oh my gosh, I'm not surprised I missed out on this one. Look at it. Okay, so we're going to the Mo Mozo Sheno Shrine. Don't know what this one will have in it. We're gonna find out together. Oh, something in the mountains complete. That was a quest. That was just a shrine quest. What was that one called? That one was the bird in the mountains. Well, I don't know what that's about. Some of these I'm just stumbling across and just getting lucky, I suppose. A major test of strength. I don't know how ready I am for this. Let me go ahead and quickly change, of course, into our super duper good gear. That would help. I mean, we have over four gold, or well, we have four golden hearts. Hey, buddy. Where are you? There he is. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Let's give it a shot. Okay, you wanna tussle? Because we'll tussle. Oh, I gotcha. Good start. So you will hopefully drop some good weapons. But also, have I taken a photo of you specifically? I haven't, I haven't. There we are, Guardian Scout 4. So there's still some of these I'm missing somewhere. I mean, probably for the easier trials of strength that I just have missed the opportunity to take a photo of. Because obviously I wasn't thinking about that at the time. Which apparently after a Blood Moon, you guys have let me know that you can redo these, so. Okay, go, go, go. I need to sort of be careful with this one. What weapon should I use? For now, I think I'll just use this sword. Should be fine. We're tearing them up as much as I can. Oh, oh, I missed that one. Pretty good. Just keep slicing away at him for now. Oh, nice. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Yeah, not happening. I'm gonna a little better at that. How cool. Oh, no, you don't. I don't know what you're about to do, but it's probably gonna hurt. I need something that's gonna hurt you back. You know what? This is gonna hurt you back. This is gonna really hurt you back. Come on, just keep slicing and slicing and slicing. I'm not done. No, no, you get back here, sir. You get back here. I'm gonna use all my stamina. Okay, maybe not all of it. Ooh, that last shot wasn't really worth it. I need to run. I need to run. Okay. Oh, we got out of the range. Here we go. Okay, I know our bow is badly damaged. That doesn't matter too much, does it? There we go. Ow. Oh, okay, that, that did matter. <laughs> okay, got it. We are getting back over there, and I'm gonna slice and dice him. Maybe just with the Master Sword. That should work just fine. Okay, keep slicing him. Oh, uh, that didn't really do as much as I wanted it to. Oh, no. Ooh, go back at him. He hasn't. He doesn't have any of his weapons out just yet. Now he does. He's probably gonna use them in a second, so I gotta be ready for that. Yeah, like that. Our, our armor really helps, so we don't take too much damage from stuff. Which is really what I was looking for with this armor. Come on, keep going. Master Sword is running low on energy. There it goes. Okay, just finish him off with something easy. Uh, I also need to do this, hold on. Oh, I really need more royal bows, but I have one back here. Okay, got him. Oh, ho, ho, nice. So what about any of these? Of course, that's gonna complete the quest, which is very nice, but um, I have photographed all of these, it seems. Very good. So that battle X plus plus, is it better than 60? It's equal to 60. Uh, I gotta get rid of the great flame sword now then, sorry. Guardian Sword plus plus, is it better than the 50? 50, 58. It's not that I don't wanna take it. It's better than the 50. It is better than 50, that's real tempting. I gotta, don't I have a 36 damage one? I can toss this. Wow, look at how far it goes. That's a 52. And then the spear, is it any better than 30? It's not, so I'm gonna have to leave that one. That's fine, that's fine. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab that chest, get whatever we can get from that, and move forward. Hopefully some good things can happen. I'm glad we got that, that wasn't too bad. The shrine itself wasn't too bad to find. And we got the, the battle done pretty easily. It's another diamond. What is this, our, our second diamond today? We got a diamond at the end of last episode too. Lots of diamonds. How many do we have in total? 23. Not what we're gonna need those for, so I'm gonna hold on for now, but you never know, right? Boom. That's another one done. Okay, your triumph over the wet, test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. When the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. Well, thank you. 
So there is yet another spirit orb. That's 16 in total. Ain't that awesome? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip all this. We're gonna head back up to the surface. Go find the kid for the weapon connoisseur. I don't know where the orb deposit is for Hatino Village, so I might have to go somewhere else for it. But hey, that should be fine. That's not too big of a sweat. And yeah, I'll be super happy to see it. It'll be yet another side quest done. And at that point, the only side quest we have remaining should be two of the ones found in Hyrule Castle, and then another one, which is getting all the shrines completed, which obviously, that's what we're working on right now. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And that means that we only have one more left in this whole area, I think. It's like somewhere in this area and then like another one down here. So we'll start doing that next episode. But for now, let's run all the way over to Hatino Village, which should be right here. Hopefully, I don't know, I might have gotten that mixed up. <laughs> but for now, let's figure it out together. Okay, so it's almost bedtime. I gotta go and find him real quick. He's running around. Oh gosh, they run real quick too. Get back here, I need to talk to you. Boop, there we go. Hey, hmm? Oh, isn't that the duplex bow? So cool, let me see, go ahead. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. Here you go, duplex bow. I have to take care of a Yiga clan member for this one. Wow, so awesome, so cool. Gramps will flip one of yours, I saw this. Thank you, take this token of my thanks, 50 rupees this time. Don't be so modest, I got it from my grandpa, so think of it as a thank you from him. The next one, oh no, what should I, mm, mm, got it. Have you heard of the wind cleaver? So when my grandpa was young, he looked for it, but couldn't find it, so please, if you find it, please let me see it. I don't think I have one right now. Hey, I've had multiple. And of course, I just don't happen to have one right now. This quest just keeps going and going, doesn't it? All right, well, I really don't know where any of the drop-off station for the orbs are. I'll look around real quick, but I don't know if there's even one in this village. Like, I know there's one in plenty of other villages, but I don't know where the one of this village is. So I'd rather not, like, it's a pretty big village as well. It's probably one of the larger sized villages in the game. So you know what? We're just gonna quickly go to Kakariko Village if we can, which should be just right over here. And we'll figure this out. Hopefully we can find ourselves the, the well, we know where it is here. So I'm gonna go there, we're gonna cash in our stuff, and then we'll be done for today's episode. All right, so let's give this a shot. I'm praying to you. I need, first off, a heart container. I wanted to get the five heart containers, and then we'll push for three full stamina bars, and I'm gonna go and push for more heart containers after that. I, I really don't need too much more stamina. I think we're fine, as far as I can tell. So there's gonna be, like what? That is five. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is only my 20th heart, unless I miscounted there. There's just a whole bunch of hearts in a row. It's hard to keep up. But I think that's my 20th heart. So let's go ahead and do a stamina vessel. Yep, my stamina wheel. Minus four, so we're only halfway through. Very nice, and this is like two or three episodes worth of work. Or like two and a half episodes, really. All right, another stamina vessel. And that's my completed third bar. That's all I really wanted, so we're gonna use the other two for health. Because I think that's gonna be more helpful. Especially, you know, we're dealing with tougher and tougher enemies all the time. This might just be what I need, you know? So there's another one, ding. 21st heart, and we'll get our 22nd. Very, very cool. Alrighty. And there we go, heart container. Your life force has been strengthened. We get a lot of health now. That is a lot of health to work with, it's wonderful. Okie dokie, so with all that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment singing Zebra, so you have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tazzy Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.